Hello. A lot of ex-mage players ask the question, is there really a European League? And we're here to find out today because we've got Nathan Blewett at the bottom of the screen up against John Kirtley at the top. Uh, apologies immediately because Nathan did the editing and I, <laughs> I stuffed something up every time. This time it's not getting the alignment of the intros correct. Uh, but that the reason for that is to fit it into my screen. It looks like Nathan is on. He's a pretty established elves player. He's played this for quite some time. Um, he plays it in Legacy, I believe, as well. So he's. I'm guessing this is modern. Uh, John Kirtley at the top of the screen. I don't know what he's playing. Two basics to start with. That uh, kind of suggests to me it might be a mill deck. Uh, but I, I'm I'm guessing at that at that. So we'll see what he's going to play. Probably. Oh, I should say, hopefully he's got a turn three play, otherwise he could be in a bit of trouble here. Nathan's got a board presence already. What the... I've got no idea. I'm not even going to guess this time. A Reliquary Tower. So, he's got 26 cards in hand. I I missed something there. I didn't see what happened. Unless he's playing the... Unless he's playing that new Jace combo in Modern... That would kind of surprise me a little bit, but uh, kudos to him if he is. And here's the elves there. That's a bit of a, a I won't say a fluff, but not the best uh, Coco he's going to hit, but with Shaman of the Pack, it's going to do a bit of damage here. Jo uh, John's at 19, so he's not going to die just yet. Yeah, I think you don't want to tap the elves of Deep Shadow. You can, I think he could have... I'm, I'm utterly confused here. I'm not even going to try and guess what he's doing. Uh, going to push through 7 points of damage. So he's got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the board. So not quite lethal next turn. Okay, turn 4. Does he hit a treasure hunt? Zombie and... What the... He's a zombie infestation. So again, I'm... It says discard two cards, put a 2 2 black zombie onto the battlefield. He's got 28 cards in hand. I don't, I don't know what happened here, but somehow he's got 28 cards. I, I Clearly, there's something that was missed in the recording. I don't know what he's done. But whatever he did, it was quite impressive because he's about to have an absolute ton of. He's discarding a whole heap of lands. You can't really see that in the recording. But uh, he's gonna about to have a whole heap of zombies hit the battlefield. If I can just just maybe adjust this a touch to so we can see what's going on. And there's all the zombies that have come into the action now. Okay, that lets us see the stack a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, he's got an uh, Azuri here. How many is it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 zombies on the battlefield for John. So, I d elves have a funny way of tapping. Can he put through. He's got. That's 30 defense, so I don't think he can actually push lethal here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 elves, so. A shaman will not be lethal either. Here come the zombies. That is lethal, I can tell you. You can see in the comments here on the top, John Kirtley, congratulations on the new arrival. His wife had a baby. I think I might have mentioned that in another video. Uh, and Nathan, he's probably our most active... Um, contributed to the group now with his his I should now probably like for the last two years uh, his deck doctor series uh, his deck techs produces quite a lot of content what's going to happen here Zuri's yeah this is a nice play so he's blocked first Azuri's going to pump the team to 5-5 five five. so he's going to be able to survive oh he goes to 4 so he's just going to he's just going to get it he's going to hit do lethal on the hit back So 
So here goes zombie infestation again to flood the board with more zombies. But uh, th these cre these elves are going to have trample, particularly if they're going to be five five. So gonna, each one is going to even if it gets blocked can push through three damage. So there's only four there. So this is actually lethal. So na na in a highly entertaining game one, I think Nathan's going to push lethal here. He's going to gain 16 life, so it's a ton of life, and we're on to game 2. Uh, so there's blue-black zombie list from John. I did recall seeing one on, I think it was TCG Player. They had a... They had a an article about it but I'm not really sure what it's trying to do I don't know if it brings in sweepers or it's kind of a rogue deck from what I understood there is a card um, Diagraph Ghoul I think is is the zombie lord and obviously with the previous uh, Armand Cat block it, it did receive a lot of new pieces as well but again he uh, John has got to turn four without doing anything, which is a bit of a concern. In come the beatdowns, three, four, five, six, seven. And plus you can add two, four, six to that, so lethal on board next turn if uh, John doesn't have anything right now. Does he have something? Let's wait and see. So he's got four mana. What can he? He's, he's just passing. Uh, main phase collected company here. And hits in and up. We're going to legacy. Okay, it works this time. Red black reanimator versus mono red prison. This Nathan's on the bandwagon with reanimator. And he does he have the combo turn? He's got the combo turn one, so he can actually he's got a. He can get Grizzlebrand and play turn one here. He unmasks himself, put Grizzlebrand in the graveyard, and then reanimate the Grizzlebrand. And that's exactly what he's going to do. I think I would have got rid of the Entomb rather than the Animate there, just in case it gets countered, he can still go off again. And gr turn one Grizzlebrand with the pass of the turn. So what's what can Mono Red Prison do to stop this straight up? Chrome Mox will get countered straight away. I think at the earliest he would be looking at a, at a turn two and Sneering Bridge would buy him some time. Nothing to... I'm surprised Nathan didn't uh, activate Grizzlebrand on end step there. What do you take here? So you, uh, I'd be inclined to take the Trinisphere here. What did he take? Let me have a look. Yeah, Nathan took the Trinisphere. Uh, I think he doesn't care about Blood Moon and Mages of the Moon because the match is over by that stage. Iona to name... He puts Iona into the grave, so Iona naming red will be the play next turn. Okay, so he's got a Blood Moon here, but it does, you can see it doesn't matter now because he's still going to play the Animate Dead. It's too late. This one's over. We're going to game two. So down will come Iona to name red. No more red spells here for John. Lethal on board next turn. I think this one's over. I don't see what he... Yeah, he's going to concede straight away. We're going to game two. So again, Nathan with Chancellor in his opening hand. Here's a chalice for one. This is brutal. This is brutal. Wait, how did that chalice resolve, actually? It should have got countered by the... Chancellor. I'm not sure what happened there.
He's going. He's hard casting the spirit guide, so he's going the aggressive route here. I like this from John. I think this one's over. I think Nathan's done. We're going to game three. I still do not know why that chalice did not get countered by the Chancellor. Okay, top deck uh, black card from Nathan is the only out here. Even then, I don't like his chances now that Chandra's come down. Down to 12, so it's a two turn clock. This is going to put him to 8. Oh, wait, three turn clock, sorry. He needs to find a black source. Faithless leading won't do it. He's got one more chance. But this is going to. His ensnaring bridge. Well, that's the least of his worries at the moment. He was have tied Spout Tyrant, but he's had enough. We're going to game three. He does not have the Chancellor this time. Chancellor's not as important in this matchup because he knows he can fire off his combo without interruption. The only threat. He's, you can see he's got a turn one kill here. I think your Dark Ritual and Tomb and Tomb Iona. And then um, Name Red. We've got some issues here with. I think this is Nathan's recording. And. Looks like the resolve, but yeah, this is going to be a turn one kill here. I don't know what. Yeah, there's a massive glitch just there. I don't know what's going on. He's going to, yeah, play Iona. He's going to name Red, so. This one's just over straight up. See what John. I don't know what he could possibly have here to win. Here's Chalice for one, but he's, whatever he's got, he's got three turns to find it. My guess is... The only thing I can think of here is um, Ensnaring Bridge. But then st he still needed a win condition. Yeah, there it is there, Ensnaring Bridge. So he's going to be able to fight on, but... I don't know how you get rid of that Iona. The only, the only other thing I can think of is, does he have a some sort of a, a Khan that has... Sometimes they play Khan. He might be able to sweep the board with um, Khan Sky on a Versa to make the artifact creatures and go wide. That's the only other out I can see that he might have if that's even in this deck. Because actually those Skyons would be pretty powerful. They'd be 5-5s. Five so two ensnaring bridges. It doesn't really matter because Nathan's out to that is Tide Spout Tyrant. So it just means he needs to cast two spells to bounce him instead of one. Throw out three ensnaring bridges. The problem that he's going to have eventually, if he doesn't find it, is that he do, he has the red cards and he doesn't have. He has the red cards and he doesn't have the uh, way to get rid of them. One thing he can do here, he can cast Faithless Looting, get it counted to so the next turn he can, or whenever he gets mana, he can cast it again for three from his graveyard. Uh, the, the, the other thing here is that... Um, okay, yeah, I like this play, Animate Dead Ashen Rider and destroy that chalice. Uh, otherwise, the, 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 the option here is that he can... Um, John can just do nothing because he's ahead in the, the card total. You can see 43 to 45. He, Nathan would deck first, but uh, John would be discarding because he can't... because he can't play the red spells. He needs a Tide Spout Tyrant here, and this one's over pretty quickly. Ashen Rider will take down the Chalice. Oh, of course, sorry. Trinosphere's making him pay three. I forgot about that. 
So now, now that the chalice is removed, he can start to get things done with these uh, one drops in his hand. Uh, interesting, Unmask, you pay the alternative cost and you still have to pay the, the, the extra three. But it, it's pretty obvious, I think, that the three cards in his hand are... Are all red cards. Okay, get the Tide Spout Tyrant, please, and end this. Wait, does he have Tide Spout Tyrant? No, he doesn't have Tide Spout Tyrant. He's got an Ashen Rider, but it, it, he doesn't actually have the cards to win this. Ashen Rider would remove one and Snaring Bridge, but he has to get rid of three of them. And you can see Ashen Rider can actually attack anyway through this ensnaring bridge now. Oh, it can't. I have to wait a turn. You've got to wait for John to draw one more red card and, and then the beatdowns can start. Another Ashen Rider to get that second chalice. Is it a red card this time? It is a red card. So now the two Ashen Riders can get in for eight. And this one is over. Modern will go to Nathan. Nathan. 